Hello Gems! In this video, I'll be showing you how I use the VTuber software VUP and Adobe's program Photoshop to make amazing YouTube thumbnails with my VTuber. If you've never been here before, my name is Sapphire and I am currently a VTuber artist that helps you become a better creator. If you want to share what your VTuber looks like or some of your artwork or just get involved in a really friendly community, consider joining our Discord down below. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. First, you'll want to download VUP if you haven't already. If you get confused or frustrated with VUP, I do have a full tutorial you can click on for the card above if you want to check that out. Cool, so I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop to make my thumbnail. This was one of my past thumbnails. The first thing we'll do before actually going into VUP is do a new file. I'm going to go to my recent and for YouTube thumbnails, it is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. So make sure you do that. For resolution, 72 is fine. 72 is when you're doing stuff on screen. If you plan on printing a file, that's when you'd want 300 resolution. So let's go ahead and click create. So the thumbnail concept I'm going to be making is for my V Magic Mirror tutorial. These are pretty straightforward for tutorial thumbnails. I like to keep it clean and simple because usually when people are looking for tutorials, what are they looking for? Simple, easy, and if your thumbnail is overly crowded, the tutorial might feel super overwhelming. So let's make a simple thumbnail for that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be talking about VMagic Mirror in here. So I'm going to bring a VMagic Mirror logo. Using the power of the logo of the thing you're talking about is very important when it comes to making thumbnails because Usually it's a recognizable thing if it's known throughout the industry on whatever you're doing a tutorial on, whether it's Blender, ZBrush, uh, some sort of tutorial for VTuber stuff like I do. So I want to make sure that I have this logo in here. I don't know where I want to place it yet, but we'll have it in here. And another thing that might work really well is just having some sort of background that represents the tutorial or maybe something that is in a line with your VTuber and their aesthetic. I'm going to kind of mimic what they have for the VMagic Mirror website. So I'm going to see if I can take a screenshot like this for my uh, tutorial. However, I'm not going to have my VTuber in here because I'm going to pose my VTuber in the up as I discussed earlier. So I'm going to take a screenshot of my background here. So I'm just going to go like this screenshot it actually might want to not like show a bunch of personal stuff i'm taking my screenshot with a program called lightshot and i'll leave that program down below if you're interested it's just like Gaizo and other things you may have heard of it's going to open this screenshot and i'm going to go ahead and click and drag it and put it behind and i'm thinking i'm going to want to make this a little bit darker so i'm just going to click a new layer i'm going to backspace to fill this with like a darker color and then i'm just going to lighten the opacity on this because I want V Magic Mirror to stand out. So that's part of the reason that I did that. I'm also don't like this blocky look on V Magic Mirror. So I'm going to right click rasterize the layer and then delete this background. I'm going to try to get rid of the ones inside the letters as well. And uh, what I'm going to do is go back to my old thumbnail here so I can copy. You can copy effects if you have past effects. I'm just going to copy layer style and go back to this and paste this one onto my V Magic Mirror. So what this is, if you were to add these effects, I like to do this because it helps make things pop out. You go on the layer you want to add these effects and click the FX bottom here at the bottom. I usually do an outer glow. So you'll get a little window that comes up like this and you can mess with the settings here. Outer glow and sometimes I do drop shadow as well. So we can do both. Why not? And I'm going to, I just want to turn up the spread of the size of the stuff going around the magic mirror i think i like about that size and then we'll go to our drop shadow and increase the distance a bit there cool so i'm going to put v magic mirror here for now and now we're going to go take a picture of our character in v up like i mentioned earlier so we're just going to save that and then we're going to go back to v up and if you don't have your model added again you can check out my tutorial on v up so i'm just going to choose one of my models i am going to choose the one with the bun because that's what i'm using for this and then we have now we have her loaded in so what i'm going to do is go to pose so we're going to click add pose up here we're going to do custom pose i'm going to move this window over here i just want to make sure you guys can still see it so these are little dots for different things you can control so for tutorials well, not even just for tutorials, but when you're making thumbnails, it's really important to make very exaggerated faces. So I'm going to do something like maybe a gesture over to V Magic Mirror, because remembered it's on the left side there. 
and then I am going to grab this arm, move it up. You can use these to control the movements. Um, you can use this V up for just like posing your character for something if you need a screenshot for like a promotional, promotional words, promotional material for uh, like Twitter or something if you're doing like a debut or a giveaway or whatever if you want to put your your character on it that could be pretty this this program's great I love VUP I think I mostly like using it for this purpose because I think that's what it's best used for is like opposing software basically and so we'll just do this like oh like oh yeah okay so then we'll also do a head tilt to make it a little bit more interesting I'll go this way to counteract the bounce I just think that looks the best and then I think that's a good so I'm gonna click save um let's call this whoops no no I reverted it <laughs> no. hold on let me fix that I'll be back okay now we're gonna save that and then we go back into it and double click and then we're gonna it should be saved in your library here and then we go to emoji and then we're gonna add an expression for this as well so you could turn your cam on if you wanted to to like get the expression sometimes I do that but I'm just gonna be messing here with the different bars I'm just gonna kind of give her like an like a surprised like oh but like if we can do like a happy maybe try to combine that so usually just play with these and see what different <laughs> see what different things that you that you maybe have and like for this I might want to turn my camera on after the face expression because I'm gonna want to be looking over like to the left side in this particular one okay I'm just gonna stick with this one I think so then we're going to name our expression I'm just gonna say eh, I don't know what to call it just save it don't use my naming system that's terrible <laughs> I have some great ones down here I love them so much okay and I'm gonna have to close my three teen Saya for this so we're gonna your camera can only broadcast and capture one face at a time so now we have it capturing this so now i'm just going to go back to character go to emoji back to this and then i just need i'm using this to um to so i to capture my eyes so let me go over to scene and you can use the scene if you want i will usually green screen it that's usually what i do sometimes i'll do other stuff but and then you can edit your lighting here too if you want so sometimes i'll go in here um edit the lighting usually i'll edit the lighting though like in photoshop for the most part Take a screenshot with light shot, save that image to my desktop, and now we go back into Photoshop, we'll click open, opening my computer, we're going to grab the screenshot here, we're just going to double click that lock to break it, go to magic wand tool, click delete, to get rid of the green spots, we're going to click this, delete, click that, delete, click delete. Um, and sometimes you can't get all the green screen stuff, it's just kind of the way green screen is, that's why I try not to always use it. And then we're just going to bring this over into here. And then I'm going to paste. Remember, we can co copy the layer style. So I'm just going to paste it. And it looks like we need to increase the outer here. So we're just going to turn the spread up. Or not the spread again. The size. I'm going to say like that looks good. And then we'll make this bigger. Usually when you're doing thumbnails, you want to crop it with bracket key. You want to crop it. Like you want it to be pretty close into your face. Because... I don't know it's just like the way the human eye works i heard it from some other people from some youtube courses <laughs> yeah so valid such such strong information right and we know it works just we heard it from some other people so it's so wonderful sapphire like uh, wow wow so helpful and i'm just gonna try to delete like some more of these like little green screen spots in here with my magic wand tool again we're just picking away at these guys okay cool and then i'm gonna go back to it doesn't matter that this is like kind of pixelated because it's just a thumbnail so it's not a big deal so now i'm gonna go to image adjustments hue saturation and i'm gonna turn up the saturation bumping saturation up's good because it's gonna pop out so i'm just gonna turn that up here and for lightness um nope we don't need to touch that so that's gonna be pretty good there and then vmagic mirror logo let's see do i want to move this maybe i do maybe i don't let's turn this up a bit i think maybe that's too dark mirror logo kind of messing with stuff i'm kind of thinking we got to retake the screenshot because i think i want to have her be on this side i don't know why but it just feels better so let's go retake the vmagic mirror screenshot i'm gonna close v up we don't need that anymore boop 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 Okay, so I'm gonna just move this over here and take a screenshot because that's what we wanted. So I'm gonna save that. We'll try this other way and then we'll turn the background off here and just click open. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so make sure that's behind. Another thing I recommend you have is this navigator. If you don't have it to see your thumbnail from far away, if you don't have it, you can go to window and you can go to navigator and then it will pop up somewhere and you can put it somewhere on your uh, dock here. All right, we're rethinking this. I have some ideas. 
I think I'm gonna take just a screenshot of the VMagic Mirror doc. I'm gonna save it, desktop it, and then, cause I don't know about this having that background, like having another person behind me like that. So this is, guys, this is a lot of what thumbnail making is. You just kind of like, you kind of, you just gotta feel it out. You're like, oh, does that look right? You know, everybody, everybody that follows this channel, y'all are, y'all are artists. Y'all are artists. I'm an artist, and it kind of goes back to the whole graphic design topic. And uh, just seeing visually like what looks good. That's really what it comes down to. So we're just gonna put that here. I'm gonna turn the VMagic Mirror logo down a bit maybe. Uh, and so I'll just put this here and then I'm just gonna open like one of my branding type things. Um, so we're just gonna go to YouTube and I have a lot of stuff in here that's kind of like all the different branding which is like what kinds of aesthetics I usually grab uh, which is like space I have a bunch of different sort of aesthetic stuff and you can collect pictures for this on a site called Unsplash there's lots of free resources you can use there uh, so I'll leave that link down below as well I'm just gonna grab this multicolor pastel see if we like this noise um, this is probably too bright behind her so I'm gonna turn that down a bit and we're just gonna make that a little bit bigger I'm gonna go back. I kind of like this again, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna do a text, and I'm just gonna do type in like full tutorial. And we're gonna highlight that and use whatever font that represents your character. It's good to usually choose like one specific or a few specific fonts that you use regularly to sort of attach to your brand. Um, this is one of them that I use a lot, so we're going to do that. We're going to highlight it. Something else I'm going to do now is do a new layer. Let's do... We're going to select our rectangle marquee. We're going to do that. I'm just going to do like a backspace with a white box. I'm going to turn the opacity down for this. This is going to make it like look a little bit more fancy. So this is just some things I like to do to sort of like make it better. Um, this is a lot of stuff that I learned probably just from my background as a graphic designer. Um, I, I know a lot about graphic design stuff because it's what I did my first year in college. So that that gives me definitely like an advantage with making thumbnail stuff. But you can learn and you can get better. And that's what this channel's about. So subscribe if you haven't already. But let's pull Sapphire above this again. We have the box back there. And now I'm like thinking because now it's like well, we're covering it. Oh my gosh, we're just grabbing her hand. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. That's actually kind of cool, but kind of freaky. Kind of bothers me. I don't know. I kind of like that. Is it bad that I like that? All right, I think this is what we're rolling with. So see, you kind of got to mess around, try some things out, see what works. We got this, so we're just going to export it as a PNG onto my desktop. I'm going to call YouTube thumbnail Saya underscore. Yes, now we got it. And that is our thumbnail. And let me show you guys how to upload it to YouTube if you don't know how to do that. So if you have uploaded a video, there should be a section called Upload Thumbnail. So I'm gonna click that and just click this and it should update. Sometimes it'll be weird and like flip back to other stuff in here. Sometimes you have to click out, click back in, re-upload it. It's very wonky sometimes. So yeah, that is that for VTuber thumbnails and just thumbnail tips in general. Thank you so much, Gems. If you're trying to level up your skills as a VTuber beyond just working on thumbnails, make sure you check out my VTuber tips and tricks video. I will leave a card up above and a link down below. Thank you so much for watching, Gems, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!